The following tutorial will outline information on cells that is available in the biomaterials wiki as well as the warehouse. So to get to the, the, the wiki, um, simply type in wiki.toxbank.net and in the center you'll see information on both uh, the gold compounds uh, and also the bio biomaterials. So for example here you can see the biological materials wiki pages and uh, there are a few general references. For example, here we have a consensus guidance for banking and supply of human embryonic stem cell lines for research purposes. Uh, there's also a document points to considering gaining access to human tissue and cell lines and an inventory and map of European suppliers, materials, resources, facilities and standards, as well as a map um, where you could interactively uh, use the Google Maps to identify these European suppliers. And a link to uh, Luan Kirain at the UK Stem Cell Bank if you have any, any questions or need further information. On the left, uh, there's a series of links uh, related to different cells. So for example, here you can see uh, human-induced pluripotent stem cell lines, undifferentiated stem cell lines, liver and cardiomyocytes, as well as suppliers of cells. And each one of these is a folder, and if you open up the folder, you can see listings of, uh, and it's really an index into different cell lines which are discussed. And by clicking on any of these cell lines, you can get to more information. So for example, here's a cell line. Um, you can see that it's got a, a Hesgredge database, and simply clicking on the link will direct you, will direct you to that database record where you can get um, a lot of information on this particular cell, cell line. So here's the entry in the Hesgridge database for this particular cell line. If I go back to the, the biomaterials wiki, um, you can also see in this case it's got a UK stem cell bank number, uh, you can have information on the provenance, any uh, important publications on this line, um, as well as if you're interested in, in getting information from the UK stem cell bank on this, this particular um, stem cell and differentiated stem cell and also where to direct inquiries. This entry is also linked to the ToxBank data warehouse. And this, the warehouse contains um, both protocols related to the stem cells and differentiation protocols, um, cell culture protocols, um, and also data that's been generated from experiments, uh, cell characterization data, or where it's been used in various, um, various um, assay te techniques. So if we wanted to look for any, any protocols related to this particular stem cell, I'm just going to click on this link to search for protocols in the ToxBank data warehouse. Uh, and it will direct you to the ToxBank warehouse. Now the, the warehouse is access controlled, so you do need to log in before we can gain access to any of the protocols or data. And even once you've logged in, some protocols or data may still have access restrictions depending on, on the, the, the information that was assigned as that uh, information was uploaded. So here's directed to a single protocol, and by clicking on the link, you can get access to that protocol. So within the ToxBank Data Warehouse, um, any protocol related to sales can be uploaded. Um, they're immediately registered, given a registry number, and you can then share them in a sensitive manner as you wish. Uh, also, you, you may update those protocols over time, and each, each iteration of the protocol will be given a new version number. Uh, the same way with data, if you have any, any data, any characterization data, or data where it's been used in various tests, these particular cell lines, those could be uploaded, and again, it's registered and is available for searching by the through the ToxBank data warehouse. So, in summary, um, the the cell information in uh, that's available on the wiki provides general information, links to the Hesreg database, links to different publications of interest, uh, as well as um, suppliers of cells. Um, 
undifferentiated cells, human-induced pluripotent stem cells, as well as all different uh, liver and cardiomyocytes. Uh, and finally, this is all linked into the ToxPunk data warehouse, uh, where we can get access to control protocols and data generated as part of the SRAT project.